let me ask both of y'all this. You know what I'm saying? Because we touched on it, but didn't go into depth. When we talking about the higher ups. Let's go to Kevin Hart. Let's go to Tyler Perry. Yeah, even Oprah. Oprah is a fucking brand in herself, but we know there was a megastar who's making a lot of money. So if they were told, "Don't fucking work with Monique," do you ha- do you hold them accountable for 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 doing it for for actually obeying what was told to them? To me, that's some sucker shit. But I know it gets deep when we go into the industry and the entertainment business and the powers that be. But you don't you don't find nothing wrong with that. Well, I, I can only go for for you know. I'm not in that industry, so it's hard to answer that question. But what I will say is I think people should uh, deal with people on the basis that they have dealt with you to an extent because certain shit, you know, if someone running around saying uh, I'm a rapist, you, you don't want no part. If you see them saying like, so if they have not shown you that personally, then no, you should not just because Tyler Perry say something you shouldn't be like, oh, I can't work with Monique because I heard Tyler Perry on the interview saying that she hard to work with or something, you know. Right. What I about feel you like a, it's passing the buck and it is always just uh, arguing amongst ourselves. Okay, I would say that Tyler Perry would be one of the gatekeepers, two of the gatekeepers. But the thing is, is that like when you heard the conversation, Tyler Perry said that yeah you 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 accosted these white folks so now i can't these motherfuckers is what put me in my position lionsgate i believe right, right. Mm-hmm. so they made yeah. him a boss he's his own boss but at the same time he still got to answer to them you piss off the people he answered to he is actually in a powerless position you idiot so basically for for tyler perry to side with her he has to go against his his bosses and, and yeah. might, might what get blackballed or or or, or or defunded or whatever you want to fucking call it. We can't just do our own Grammys and make it a black Grammys. That's the thing we keep on doing. We keep on doing things and making it black, which automatically makes it smaller. Which right. we're, gonna, we're gonna make an award show or whatever. We have to make it for everybody. Everybody has to be included. White people, black people, Mexican, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So then, then you know, actually you're going against everybody. How can you be the best at something if you're only going against black people? Right. So yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, it, it's 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 a, it's, some, it's some crazy shit out there. Like, it, this is gonna be a hard fix, bro. Cause like anybody who jumps out there is gonna get cooked, bro. Cat Williams jumped out there, got cooked. I'm talking about everybody. I ain't talking about just you know, you know, you gonna get blackballed, and that means you out, you out. You know what I but mean? But is it really? But is it really blackballed though? He he, Cat Williams, he definitely was selling tickets for it. He he definitely was selling tickets before. Uh, the the club Shay Shay, but his shit sold the fuck out after he did the Shay Shay. So is is it really being blackballed, or is it just your revenue coming from a different source? It's not coming from Lion Gates. It's coming from your show. Well, you, well, you, basically your brand. Black blackball means you've been cut off from all of the, the other industries where you know you know what I'm trying to say. So you're like he's cut off from Hollywood. He's cut off from these big budgets. Right. He's cut off from these big promotion. So everything he got to do, he got to do it on his own. So the, in the contradiction I see in that is him saying stuff like to Ludacris about that he is intertwined with these, you know, 10, 10 movie deals and shit. So on one hand, uh, you, you can't cry about being blackballed from something if you're going to sit and talk about people who are in with them at the same time. Do you see that as a contradiction or how you look at that? Well, I'm telling you, I think that he didn't sign up because after he made the comment about um, putting it in his contract where certain black men have to wear dresses, <laughs> kind of tears, it kind of tears away from the fact that you 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 throwing them under the bus for putting the dress on. Yeah, I, I, so that was kind of weird to me, right there. What you say, boss? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's no fucking contract. He said it over and over. He said it multiple times. He said, "Yeah, I heard him say it. You're right, yeah. but I just don't believe." <laughs> what kind of fucking stipulation is that? But I, I just don't believe that, man. But I wanted to share this real quick because go ahead, go ahead. This conversation actually takes me back to this interview right here. Okay, and they they went at it, and it goes back to what we're talking about: the powers that be. And Steve Harvey was like, "Listen, I ain't feeling like goddamn sacrifice shit." So I, hopefully, I got it on the right one. But, but check this out. But I want you to understand about this whole thing. Yes. 
as we try to come through this, because what I want really is for you to come through, because I know who you really are. This is good. So what, I, what I want you to do is come through this with a different way, because you, Monique, you my girl. I love you like a sister. I hate what's happening to you. I hate what they're saying that's not true. I want them to know that you are Carrie, that you're a great mother, that you are incredible talent. I don't like the fact that you've been blackballed. You can be unblackballed. You too talented to have to worry about all up. this where the next one coming from. I want this to end for you. I want it to end for you, Monique, because I love you. Because these people are doing it the wrong way. And you better than that. You are better than that. I probably should have called you as soon as. But I didn't. I got a lot of stuff going on. I so I didn't. When I did call you, I listened to you. But I began telling you at the very beginning, I think we're going about this the wrong way. Now, we keep saying stuff in the interim that keeps just making it worse. Hollywood know you, but talented. it's making it worse for who? It's making it worse for who? So, okay, if you think it's cool, then it's cool. That's what I'm saying. But it's not cool, cool, Mo. It's not cool. For who? The fact that we're sitting here arguing like this. We're not arguing. Okay, we're, we're discussing. You and you and your sister, we having a conversation that mommy and daddy are here right now, <laughs> and I'm going to put you in your mouth. That's the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I think what happens though is, I've had to understand how to agree to disagree without being upset. And that's the thing. I disagree with my brother. I'm not upset with you. I love you. I disagree with the way Oprah, Lee, and Tyler did it. Cool. But I love that. I give you that. Now, guess what we need to do we need? to move forward and fix this? Come on. These people owe you an apology. You owe those people an apology. Laugh. <laughs> what? She, she, she laughed. She said, <laughs> <laughs> that's that, <laughs> nigga, you must be macho motherfucking mind. That's that <laughs> laugh. <laughs> So pretty much what he's saying, and when she say she's go, he, she's going about it the wrong way, is like the powers that be, like you up against some shit that you can't win. You know what I'm saying? I think that this part two, part one, they really went, was going at it, but I understand what he's saying. And Steve, like, it's about taking care of my family. So it's either you stand up for what's right and possibly lose a check. Or you just keep your fucking mouth closed and just keep getting paid and let them continue to do this to every fucking black actor or actress in the game. How y'all feel about that? Well, <clears throat> this is basically uh, a microcosm of what's going on on the grand scale. I'm talking about from everybody. For exchanging yeah. time for uh, kibbles and bits. So, you know, it's, it's, and none of us are willing to walk out, homeschool our children and walk out from these jobs and demand better pay where we can actually work 40 hours and afford to actually take care of ourselves and live comfortably. So it's just like that in the industry with the uh, slaves that, that, that do the acting and they do the singing. All of the people at the top make all of the money. You got to go out there and do shows if you want to get your money. And it's the same thing. It's just a microcosm of it. Mm. It's, it's to me, it's a damn, it's a lose lose situation, man. Because, like we all know, we don't have the power to to move that needle, either way. So it's just like, I know, new get mad when I say, man, I'm just gonna continue to live my fucking life. I can't control the shit that you're telling me. I can't control this shit that you're saying. Keep your eyes open for. I can be aware of it, but what the fuck am I gonna do? Because I don't have no fucking power. And I believe that's pretty much what Steve was telling her, man. Man, just get your check and just shut up. But at the same time, you're like, damn, is it really like that? Yeah. In Hollywood, and, and definitely in Hollywood, it's it, the way it look. It's like that. And and as far as it being a microcosm in daily life of people who are living paycheck to paycheck, which I think is like some like 60% of Americans are damn near living paycheck to paycheck. Like a, a, quor a quarter of America cannot even pay their bills for four months and be good without any income. Because right. that's the type of society we live in. So it's like we're chained to this shit. To a certain to a certain extent, man. Yeah, D Love say that's defeat talk he gave her. Is it is it? Is it is what it was, what would you do, boss? What would you do? 
and you know, dude was on the chair with Monique, and Monique was trying to get you to help defend. You knew she was in the right, and you knew she had been done wrong, but you also know the rules that you don't talk about it publicly. You might think I'm capping in, in the sense that these, and I don't, I ain't pocket watching. We know who got the big bag, who got the big check, but if I got my investments right, and I, if I want to stand up and speak for what's right, like Monique is doing, they blackball me, fuck it. I got enough money to take care of my kids and my family and my family that comes after that after I die. As long as I keep investing and put my money in the right places, fuck them. Fuck them. 